Alright guys, welcome back to another video and this is actually probably going to be a real quick video because I actually just want to make this because I forgot to tell you one important thing about formatting. I probably should have mentioned this in the last video, but like I said, I forgot. So open up this example again, baseball salaries, actually open up any example, it doesn't really matter. And go ahead and start formatting some cells. So we'll just change this background to... Uh, I don't know, just like this like puke brown color and I don't know, maybe we'll bold the cells and change the text color to white. Why not? So anytime you want to take this styling or formatting and apply it to another cell, what we can do is actually just go to those cells and do the same exact thing that we just did or we can use this little tool right here. This is called the format painter and how do you use it is basically this select a cell that you want to copy the formatting from and then click the format painter so now as you can see your little cursor turns into a little paintbrush so basically your paint bucket is this format so what other cells you select now it copies the format from whatever you have selected so again select a cell click the format and as you can see there's marching ants around that format this means whatever you paint this format is going to be applied to those cells so paint boom good to go now since this is such a short video I'll show you guys one other um, cool kind of random tip and that is how to protect your workbook with a password so you want to do this a lot whenever you're working with like sensitive tax information or maybe you're just making any spreadsheet and you don't want anyone else to see it because I mean it's none of their business so what you can do is if you go to file we'll say that I don't know maybe I work for a baseball team and um, this file right here has like um, all the player salaries and of course that's private information it's not really it's public anyone in the world can look at it but we'll say that it's private for this example and um, I have to protect it so no one steals it so I'm gonna go to file and in this info tab right here you're gonna see a button that says protect workbook that means that you can put a password on your workbook so you have to enter it anytime someone tries to open this file so if you click it the option for that is encrypt with password and as you see the description require a password to open this workbook that's what we want so of course what we need to give it is a password I'll just type apples okay and it asks you to re-enter it just to make sure that you didn't accidentally hit a key and you're getting locked out of your own notebook and also as you can see it says if you forget the password it can't be recovered this isn't like um, an email or an account on a website where you can just send it to your email if you forget so make sure to write it down and actually remember it so hit okay and now this workbook which includes every style sheet in here or every worksheet is now protected so if I close out um, I'll go ahead and save this alright so now do 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 I'm someone using Bucky's computer I don't know maybe like my little sisters using my computer I'm just gonna go to baseball who wonder what this is I hope there's no sensitive info in here oh there's a password she can't get to it so she tries the hack she thinks my passwords tuna but it's not and eh, nice try Haas and of course just to show you guys that it does work if I am working with it and I actually type in apples then there you go so pretty sweet that is how you use the format painter and also how you protect workbooks with passwords I know it's kinda of two unrelated topics but you know it's kinda of like a bonus tutorial so for now as always thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe, and if you guys have any questions at all, make sure to ask me on my forum. I will be glad to answer them for you. So, uh, well, until next video, I'll see you later.